Well, hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. I'm really excited to show you this build because I had a lot of fun building it. It did take a while. Um, obviously, it is sped up for your enjoyment. Um, so this is not in real time. It's sped up, I think, 2.5 times the original speed. So I think this build overall, uh, with all the little bit of detailing added in the end, actually took me about four and a half maybe five hours to build so it was it was a long day it was a long day i will admit um, the inspiration for this build is the simpsons now if you never watched the simpsons like if, if you live in england and you've never watched the simpsons then you've been living under a rock but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up a picture of my reference point of what I was trying to build. And it's this, I think it's called Evergreen Tourist. I'm not sure what number house. But this is the picture of um, the reference what I was going for and the design, what I wanted it to look like. Obviously it's a cartoon and it's um, a TV series. So having it look exactly the same as that while building it in planet zoo was a bit difficult to get but i did my best and i think it comes out looking quite accurate and quite good to be honest i was quite impressed with myself um without sounding big head big headed I, I, I think it did come out looking all right i'm really enjoying doing these kind of builds recently i did um if you've ever played pokemon especially pokemon sword and shield on the nintendo switch I did um, a build of the Pokemon Center out of that game and I will pop up a picture of it now for you to have a quick look. So yeah, I was really impressed how that one came out as well. Um, and that's the kind of things that I've been enjoying doing really on the old um, Planet Zoo recently, which is just going really abstract and building stuff what, um, what not many people are building really out of other games or TV series or films and stuff like that. And really pushing my creativity and really enjoying doing it. Um, so as you can see, I start. I chose the pink walls because in the picture the walls are, 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 are pinkish, like a dull pink. Uh, and I'm just getting the layout. So how I like to start my builds is getting the initial outside of the build and the layout done, and then working my way onto the um, the bits and bobs and the designs, the doors, the windows, stuff like that. And um, I didn't actually create anything inside of this build I left it as an open shell because I'm gonna put it on the workshop my workshop link in the description if you want to go and check it out for Planet Zoo and you can basically put anything if you run a path through the front door you can basically put anything you want in it so it can be staff facilities it can be it could even be a habitat because it's got solid walls you could put animals in there and be in quite a lot of space as well so most animals would be quite happy in there and I think that would be quite fun if you could have the Simpsons home as a habitat. I think that's quite a cool thing to do. Yeah, so link in the description if you want to download this and use it for yourself in your own zoos. Now I'm just getting the windows in here as you can see. And it was actually quite simple to get the windows in. So I used the, the wood pieces from um, the, the Asia, I think they are the Asia wood, wood pieces. You can recolor them to pretty much any, any color uh, you want and you use them. They're really versatile in builds and you can use them in pretty much any build and just change the color to suit that build which is really nice. Now the door, there was a lot of things in this build where I had to go away, take a long look at the picture of how I wanted it to come out, the picture of what's on, on your screen and, and really look at it, study it, study it and try to figure out what I needed to do next uh, it's a bit it's a bit like painting if you ever painted you'll know what I mean or even drawn sketched or anything like that you need to keep looking at the reference point to make sure you're getting the detail right um, like I said before the detail is not perfect because it's obviously gonna look different because it's a, a, a zoo game compared to a, a, um, a cartoon TV series but yeah, so just putting the door in, I was looking for like a round piece for the archway of the door. And I mean, I was searching through all the different wood types. I even typed curve 
at one point and the doorway and it, there was just nothing what would um, what would fit of, of the width of the door what I wanted so what I did is I placed as you can see now I placed this archway down to give me like a reference point to build around which was actually quite a good idea and I've never done it before so basically I know where I need to like um, draw around I said draw I mean like place wood around by the reference point of the door arch what I put in and so that's what I do basically I'm not going to talk all the way through this build and at uh, towards the end of the build it does cut um, to how it came out in the end like, like I said this build took me a hell of a long time four and a half to five hours and for me to um, sit here and ramble on for four and a half to five hours and describe every little detail that I did it would be a hell of a long video and you'd probably fall asleep watching me do <laughs> and listening to me do that um, so I do cut at the end to the end result so stay tuned to the end of this video and you will see how it came out in the end what changes I did make and the overall um, look and the overall build I got out of it I remember this doing this doorway it was so fiddly I mean doing the advanced move and just moving it inch by inch rotating it inch by inch doubling up the pieces to make it a, a thicker door frame it was a lot a lot of effort but I'm glad I stuck with it there's a I've, I've had some comments recently and and of some of some people who who play planet zoo quite religiously have told me that when they have inspiration to build something they start building it and they get halfway through the build and they just give up either it's not working or it's not turning out how they wanted it to look see i used to do that all the time i used to just get fed up close the close the game down and either come back to it at a later date or um, not come back to it at all but lately i've just been sticking with it sticking to a plan and just going with it and, and freestyling it if things start to go wrong and it's starting to not look how i want it to look I've just been sticking with it and making sure I stick it out and come up with a design. Now, just skip forward a little bit there as you can see. And I'm just placing out the windows here. Now, the door frame was fiddly. I thought that was a pain in the bum, doing that door frame. And then I started doing the windows. And I realised that I know nothing. Honestly, doing these windows, oh my god, I must have... Um, half of the build is doing the windows and the roof. The windows and the roof was the most difficult part of this build. And um, and the reason why is, is just the individual parts and separating them from the, uh, the building group. And then rotating them slightly and then fitting them in the individual pieces of wood. As you can see I'm starting to do that now. And yeah, that was, that was definitely the longest part of this build. And the roof as well. Oh my god. I don't know how much of the roof I'll show, but I'll show you a little bit and then I'll, I'll skip forward in time so you can see the full, fully built version because the roof was just not lining up perfectly at all. And the thing is with Planet Zoo, it's not always going to be perfect. You're not always going to build something and think, wow, that is perfect. Things are going to go wrong. Pieces are going to clip out the building. You're going to get clipping issues. Things are going to be out of line. But it's all part of the learning process. And like I said, just stay with it. Um, and see what you can come up with. Don't delete it. Don't log off the game. Be persistent. Be an optimist. And see what you can get done. These window panes. I think they, they added these window panes in one of the latest updates. And I love them. They're so... The, the possibility of these window panes is endless. To have a window pane with what's not affixed to a group and different sizes including very small, a very small size window pane as well is brilliant. You can make some amazing custom windows with it. I think I used the same wood as well. On the wind, yeah, I've used the same wood on the windows above as well. 
Um, trying to keep to the same wood and the same colour so everything's matching as much as possible. Um, the garage to the right is already um, detailed and drawn out and planned out as you can see. And there's a little window in that garage as well um, as you can see from the picture and I end up putting that in as well I just wanted everything to be as accurate as I can get it possible even the terrain as you can see here I'm currently um, do doing some of the terrain making the grass longer because in the picture the grass looks a bit long and there's a dent in the road pathway driveway whatever you want to call it in the picture and now like like the tarmac has come loose and I really wanted to create this thing and get like I said get it. everything as accurate so I thought what I'll do is I'll place a brick down and dig it into the ground as much as possible to recreate this uh, this like tarmac dint uh, from the picture uh, came out looking all right well I think it did anyway let me know in the comment section below if you think it, it, it suits and it, it does look accurate to the picture trying to figure out what bush I can use now for the front and what um, what's the word I'm looking for shrubbery shrubbery is that a word shrubbery I think that's the word isn't it what shrubbery I can use for the bush and I, I planted a few of these down to try to give like a large bush impression um, and combine them together and it just wasn't working for me at all so I decided to do um, something more simpler and what I think came out looking more better actually sometimes the more complex you think the less effective it looks and this is like the beach is I'm showing that off right now so I went down the simple road instead of the complex road and as you can see I built those just round um, trimmed bushes and it came out looking better than me trying to combine loads of different foliage together to create a bush but sometimes simplicity is better and more effective than some of what's more um, complex and advanced is what I'm trying to set here we got we got that out in the end what I'm gonna do now because you're probably fed up of hearing my voice um, I'm gonna shut up for a little bit I'm gonna let this speed build play through and at the end it will cut to a little segment of me showing off how it came out and now if everything came out looking um, if you did like this video drop a like on it it helps me a lot comment down below if you like this kind of building and if you've got any ideas of what you want seeing built let me know I'll give it a, I'll, um, and I might end up doing it um, I'll give it a thought and I might end up building it for you so yeah, comment down below, like, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. My name's Adam, and like I always say, peace out.